Hey yo, it's Alex from MetaMind Music and welcome to this comprehensive tutorial series. And as always with this channel, it's my mission to help musicians produce themselves by developing their mindset, expanding their creativity and connecting to their inner artist in a deeper way. So if you've ever wanted to produce your own music, if you're a musician, you've always wanted to get into recording, if you've always been drawn to create music but you've never made the plunge, if you've tried to understand the software and the workflows of producing, mixing, and making music on a computer and just felt overwhelmed, this series is for you. So with this comprehensive series, we're gonna go super in depth with Ableton 11 in a totally complete way. I really wanna show you how to meld your creative mind with this extremely powerful software. But throughout the process, I want to liven things up by sharing concepts, by sharing philosophies and mindsets that I've discovered over the years as an artist and a musician to really help you expand your thinking and connect to your inner artist in a deeper way. Because at the end of the day, all the tools, all the strategies, all the techniques that we're trying to learn and that I'm going to teach you are all meant to serve your creativity and your artistic ambition. The whole purpose of this series is to really help you connect to your inner artist in a deeper way and be able to produce and create the ideas you have in your head and really produce yourself as an artist. So whether you're already a musician, you play an instrument, whether you're brand new at this, this series is meant for beginners. We're gonna go in depth on many subjects, but as we progress through the series, we're gonna get more complex. We're gonna explore different strategies, different techniques, different workflows. We're gonna make some music together. We're going to explore different ways of playing instruments, creating sounds, mixing stuff. We're going to cover it all together. So I'm super, so I want this to be a super fun and engaging journey that we go on together. All right, so we're going to have a lot of fun together. You're going to get a ton out of this and we're going to explore new ways of looking at the creative process. We're going to explore how to make music, how to come up with ideas, and you might even learn a thing or two about yourself through the process. And being able to create, produce, and release your own music is an amazing amazing feeling and music production is a super rewarding craft. There's no other feeling like being able to express yourself through this medium and be able to share and complete the process all by yourself, which you will be able to do by the end of the series. All right, so a little background on Ableton and my relationship of how it came into my life is I come from a background of playing instruments, all right? So I started playing guitar when I was 16, 17 years old, really started taking it seriously, got obsessed with the instrument. I really was into rock, I got into metal, and I always loved experimental music of all types. But throughout that process, I learned how to play guitar, I learned how to play some drums, I learned how to play some bass, maybe a little bit of keys here and there. So I was really proficient at playing instruments. And that's first and foremost how I was writing songs and generating ideas is from instruments. And I was using DAWs such as Pro Tools, such as Logic, such as Reaper, as I was going to school to learn audio engineering and music production. So as I went to school, I was using these DAWs. I learned how to get a workflow down and I was getting pretty proficient at it until I discovered Ableton and the Push 2. And once I got a glimpse of what Ableton was and what it could do, that's when I decided to jump ship and jump onto Ableton 9 and get a Push 2. And that kind of changed my whole music production journey. And Ableton Live, or what the software is called is just live, but they're interchangeable, uh, was actually designed first and foremost as a performance instrument. So it'd be very common to see Ableton alongside turntables or being used as live performance instruments with loops and whatnot. And over the years, it slowly and surely became more of a powerhouse, more of a fully featured DAW. And now I gotta say, it's probably one of the top DAWs that are out there. And it is my favorite because Ableton approaches things a little bit different. It actually allows you to interface with your ideas from a non-linear perspective and a linear perspective. And you could actually equate this to right brain thinking and left brain thinking, meaning left brain thinking is a little bit more time bound. It has structure, it has order, and right side thinking is a little bit more experimental, a little bit more creative, and a little bit less time bound, right? More cyclical. All right, so when I found the software, it really allowed me to utilize the software that we use to create music as part of my creative process. Because beforehand, I would always come up with ideas or parts on instruments, remember them, and then simply just record it 
into software to record it to be able to hear it back. And this was great because it utilized the DAW as a utility to record the songs that I had already created, the ideas that I'd already created. But with Ableton, that all changed for me because Ableton became part of my process. It became part of my creative expression. It actually became an instrument in and of itself. All right, so throughout this whole series, we're gonna go in depth on everything you need to go from installing Ableton to learning how it works to creating musical ideas, to arranging your ideas, to developing your artist, to developing your style, to developing your unique voice, to then actually utilize instruments in Ableton and expand your creativity that way, to understanding how to mix your song, how to release your own music, all in this in-depth series as we move forward. All right, let's talk a little bit about the format of this course. So this is geared towards beginners, so I will be detailed in my explanations, and I'll try not to overwhelm or confuse you too much, but also not try to bore your face off. So I'm gonna try and keep this whole journey super engaging. So if you're just getting started, you're definitely in the right place. But if you're more of an intermediate, uh, stick around because you might learn a thing or two as we go over the basics. And as we move forward, we will inevitably get into more advanced topics and more advanced tutorials and conversations. So either way, definitely consider coming along for the ride. All right, so if you're just getting started with music production or you've been at this for a while or having trouble finishing projects, I highly encourage you to download my simple seven step framework that takes you from your very first ideas all the way to a finished mix and master. And it's super handy to print out and have around the studio. So if you're interested, you can download that in the link below. And we will actually be going through that framework and that workflow later on in the series as we move forward. So it's super handy if you wanna get familiar with it ahead of time and start playing around with the workflow itself. All right, so buckle up. I hope that you're excited. I hope that you're inspired. I hope that you're motivated because I truly think that anyone could get into the craft of music production. Now is the best time ever to get into it. And we're going to get you set up and well on your way in this course. So I'm super happy to move forward and we'll see you in the next video.